Hello there and welcome to June 2019 A2 Maths Paper 1. Here we're looking at question 4. So let's get started. Find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 1 over 4 minus x square rooted, given the coefficients in the simplest form. So let's just remind ourselves of the binomial expansion. It's going to be 1 plus x to the n equals 1 plus nx plus n, n minus 1 over 2x squared, and that will be the first three terms. So let's uh, start writing this in this form here. So the first thing I would do is I would write 4 minus x to the power of minus a half. That's how we can convert this into a bracket with a fractional power. Um, the root corresponds to a half on the power, and the minus corresponds to it being on the bottom of a fraction. The next thing I need to do is then pull the 4 out. So the 4 is going to get pulled out, but it's going to have still attached to it the power of minus a half. And now that I've pulled the 4 out, I've pulled the 4 out of both the terms here on the 4 and the x here. So it's going to be 1 minus x over 4 to the power of minus a half. OK, so I've pulled a 4 out of both of the terms inside the bracket there. The 1 will just be left over from pulling a 4 out of 4. But when I pull a 4 out of x, it's going to remain as x over 4 left behind. So 4 to the power of minus a half is um, a half. And now I'm going to binomially expand this expression here. So from this uh, binomial formula, x is going to be referred to now as minus x over 4, and n is going to be minus a half. So let's get started. It's first of all going to be 1, and then it's going to be plus n, which is minus a half. That's the power on this binomial expansion. And then x is actually referring to minus x over 4. Don't forget that when you've got, because you've got a plus inside your binomial expansion formula, if you've got a minus inside your binomial expansion you need to work out, then that goes and attaches itself onto the x. So it's going to be minus x over 4 there. Moving on to the final of the three terms here, it's going to first be n, so that would be minus a half. Then it's going to be n minus 1, so that's minus a half, take away another 1, that would be minus 3 over 2 then it's going to be over 2, and then it's going to be multiplied by x squared, and x here is corresponding still to minus x over 4, so it'll be minus x over 4 squared. So let's now simplify what we've got inside those big brackets. It'll be 1 plus x over 8, and then the second one here will be plus. And let's work out the numerator first. That'll be positive 3, because we'll have a minus 1 times a minus 3, so it'll be 3 over, let's work out the denominators now, 2, 2, 2, 4, and 4, so 2 times 2 times 2 times 4 times 4, that's going to be 8 times 16, and if I do that quickly on my calculator, 8 times 16, that gives me 128, so 3 over 128 x squared. Now I need to times by that initial a half. This is now bringing in the 4 to the power of minus a half that we pulled down to the bracket. So it's going to be a half plus x over 16 plus 3 over 256 x squared. And there we are. That's the binomial expansion for this thing here. 1 over root 4 minus x. Now moving on to part B, there's a part B and C to this question, or part BI and BIII. Um, so we've got this binomial expansion of 1 over 4 minus x rooted. Uh, the, pos the expansion can be used to approximate root 2. Possible values of x that can be substituted into the expansion are, potentially, x equals minus 14, so give root 2 over 6, when you substitute in x equals 2, you get root 2 over 2. And when you substitute in x equals minus a half, you get root 2 over 3. So all three of these values here can be substituted in to give you um, something to do with root 2 or a multiple of root 2. Without evaluating your expansion, state giving a reason which of these three values of x should not be used. 
Okay, well, let's just remind ourselves of the binomial expansion part of the formula booklet. This is the clip from the um, formula booklet. And what it says here is if this is your binomial expansion, then this here is the condition upon x. So this is saying that root x, so this is saying that mod x has to be less than 1. Well, in our binomial expansion, what we had was minus x over 4 is less than 1. And if I now expand this uh, 4 and multiply the 4 on the other side, what this leads to is that mod x, I can get rid of the minus because anything inside a mod is going to be made positive anyway, but if I now multiply the 4 onto the other side, I get mod x is less than 4. So for this binomial expansion question, I need to make sure that the modulus of x is less than 4. So let's now go back to those three... Um, let's rub out this little bit of working here. You've all seen how that's come from. So... Let's now go back to this working here. Mod x has to be less than 4, so therefore x equals minus 14 cannot be substituted in. Because... mod x has to be less than 4 for this question here. And moving on to part 2, states giving a reason which of these three values would lead to the most accurate approximation of root 2. Well, it's going to be the smallest modulus value closest to 0 that will be the, the best approximation for x. Let's go back, let's go back to the um, binomial expansion. What we're looking for here is for x to be as small as possible so that every subsequent term that we would have calculated if we'd done the whole thing will be as small as possible. So that will lead us to the most accurate answer when we just use these three terms in the binomial expansion. So what we're looking for is the x cubed term, the x to the power 4 term, the x to the power 5 term to be as small or as close to zero as possible to leave us just with a very accurate answer from these first three terms. Terms. So what that means is that x equals minus a half will give us the most accurate answer. Will give the most accurate answer. Because x cubed x4 and x5 um, will be smaller to neglect. So that when you only do your binomial expansion up to the x squared term, it will be as accurate, uh, it'd be more accurate um, because the x cubed x4, x5 term will be smaller um, than when you substitute it in 2, for example. So there we are. That's the answer for question 4 then. Six marks for that one then. Let's now move on to question 5.